regenerating files from kernel lab, especially if it's triggered with, uh, an, from a non-privileged user, is something bad. So I try to give you a demo of this, uh, uh, not inside the CH root. How do you break CH root? Okay, the typical way to break CH root is to uh, get back to dot 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 many times and then CH root into that. This obviously won't work inside this server. It's, in, it's even in their web page. This was one of the motivations <coughs> why it's doing this server. So let's start this server and I will uh, uh, trigger the button. Uh, trouble is, this is a kernel dot. So obviously, uh, yeah, my machine is going to die. Okay. So here I have a shell inside my view server. <coughs> so to trigger this bug, you um, inside the view server virtual machine, we need to have the uh, um, vulnerable device uh, accessible. So it means either you can use mkernel to produce the device, okay, or uh, it was there for some reason, uh, which would typically mean bad configuration. I totally agree there's no reason to run, I mean, to have uh, um, a, a kernel driver for VMware inside the server. This is just to show you that uh, if this works inside this server, obviously it's going to work in a CH group. Okay, so those are much, much tougher conditions. Let me show you my last slide before I get, re I get to reboot. Okay, so this is my last slide. <laughs> Questions will be welcome. Okay, so I'm triggering the, uh, I'm triggering the, uh, the exploit. And then nothing seems to happen, but okay, my channel died. Oh, it really did die. I cannot do anything anymore. Uh, so do you have questions? <laughs> you want to see the log? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, any other question before, uh, I mean, in the meantime? It was all perfectly clear. Okay, thank you, then. Uh, uh, boot encryption devices 
or uh, even biofilmwares. Okay, because they um, okay, that one was kind of interesting. Typically, when you try to go uh, a, a low device, I mean a low level uh, 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 device, and you try to you're trying to get user input, the only API which is available is typically the one of the bias. And uh, using it is very difficult and error prone. And what, what happened is that uh, when, when reading user passwords, the passwords remained in memory forever. And since uh, a virtual node, even when emulated, is so nicely emulated, you have a bunch of memory leaks uh, 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 from kernel land, which give you, for instance, an interrupt vector table and a particular data structure from the BIOS, which is called the BIOS data area, which contains uh, uh, the passwords that were written by virtually anything, ranging from BitLocker to Toolcrit uh, to BIOS firmware. Any other question? Okay, so let's have a look at the logs quickly. First, have a look at the uh, directory I used uh, as a root to trigger uh, this vulnerability. There may be uh, um, files created. I don't know. Okay, apparently here it's not the case. 